28. And then starting halfway down the page, starting here. Okay, so let's start on the left hand side because of the fractions. About on page 628 and the second one on the left. You see it? Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to do first since we're adding fractions? Butterfly. Butterfly, yep. So we take Sine times secant. Then cosecant times cosine. Over cosecant times secant. Now what? Yep. Use those identities. We're going to change here to sine and cosine. But if I had another identity, like if you saw sine squared plus cosine squared, you'd change that to one. So you look through your identities, which on a test I will give you. So sine of theta. One over cosine, secant is reciprocal of cosine, bless you. One over sine of theta times cosine, all over one over sine of theta, and one over cosine of theta. Wait and let that process finish. Trick all your chart thing. So on top now we have sine theta over cosine plus cosine over sine and on bottom you have 1 over sine times cosine alright so now we Bow tie again. So that's sine squared theta. Plus cosine squared theta. Oh, not that funny. Over cosine times sine. This is all over, <coughs> bless you. Stop. Wow, bless you again. Right here, I'm gonna write butterfly. Oh, okay. <coughs> is something hitting you?
So sine squared plus cosine squared is one. one. It's one of the identities. Over sine theta cosine theta. And then you have the top, so keep, change, flip. That cancels, you get one. You notice that's not what we were trying to get, which is fine. I'm going to show you how to get what we were trying to get. But know that if this was a twist, a twist, a twist question, I would have had this be one. Okay. I would make it its simplest form. They're just being extra. But that's okay. We can do it. We can. So we see that what we're trying to get is something that has secant squared and tangent squared in it. That's one of our identities. It's one plus secant squared equals tangent squared. How can I get this one by itself from this identity? So one equals tangent squared minus secant squared. So what can I replace this one with? Yep, tangent squared minus secant squared. And that's what we were looking for. Now again, I would have let you stop at that highlighted one. Yes, sir. Oh, I did it backwards, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing you already wrote. No, it's not. Uh, Let me go look. Did I write it wrong? Let me find 620. It is 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared. So secant squared minus tangent squared. Oh, I wrote it wrong. Sorry. This is why we use pencils. Because these can be exciting. So it should have been 1 plus tangent squared. I knew that. I knew I did know that. Thank you, Zaid. Um, then we should have subtracted tangent squared on both sides. You will have this list, so I don't expect you to memorize them. There we go. Much better. Now I did forget to ask if there were any questions from the homework and stuff that we've had. I'm gonna finish writing the things we did here. We butterflied again. And then we used the identities. And then we keep, change, flip. Then we use the identity again. I know that's small, but I'm just trying to get the whole thing in the shot. Are we in homework? Yes. Do you have a question on homework? Can we do nine and or six? Yeah, what page? 625. 625. Okay. 
let's start with six and then I'll do nine. Okay, so we're on page 625, doing one of the homework problems, student number six. We are supposed to simplify this. So first step is to get rid of the parentheses. So we multiply through by secant. And I made it secant squared alpha because there were two of them. And then after we distribute, I would rewrite everything as sines and cosines. I go too fast. Sometimes I get excited about seeing where I'm going and then run off and leave people. So would you want to make them all cosines? Um, well, I'm just trying to simplify them as much as possible. <coughs> so if I write them in terms of sines and cosines, then things might cancel like here. One's on top, one's on bottom, they cancel. So I get one plus sine squared over cosine squared. And then we can bow tie. I like the other ones better because you know where you're going. On these, we don't know exactly where we're going. We're just trying to simplify it as much as possible. So we multiply these two. Multiply these two. And then the bottom two. Colors are prettier when the lights are off. Cosine squared plus sine squared is or sine squared plus cosine squared. One. one. Thank you. I was worried. And one over cosine? Secant. So since it's squared, this is secant squared. So there it is, simplified. Number nine. Hopefully, and if not yet, eventually, you'll recognize this. Anybody know what that is? Sign squared. It's on number five on page 620. It was one of the ones we rewrote. And I can replace 1 minus cosine squared with sine squared because they are equivalent. Then the sine will cancel, one of them. And you get cosine over sine, which is cotangent. cotangent that's right. So we're trying to get it down to where it's just a single trig 
function could be squared or whatever. Thank you, Ella, for those questions. Can you just speak? Yes. Speak as well. <clears throat> uh, will you count after we don't put like theta? Did you put x? No. I won't count off, but do try to remember to put some variable. Any other questions on the homework? Okay. Don't forget, I also assigned you already the other day, 73. So be working on that as well. So we can ask questions on it. Okay, I'm going to do one more of these. Let's do, we haven't done one on the right for a while, so let's do the one on the right on page 629. Me? <laughs> Me? I have never dusted in here because... Rarely dust my own house, let alone my classroom. But it does get dusted. The custodial staff dusts it. But you think maybe it could be somebody's perfume if you're allergic to her? Y'all are allergic to each other. Yeah, maybe. No. The dry. Did it? Did it happen when she moved over there by you? It happened when she moved behind me. There you go. Because I was in front of her. That's what it is. Maybe it's her, I'm allergic to her bringing in her scent, wash it out, and then I'm, you're allergic to my scent because the bring in wash it out. There we go. We've got, got it figured out. Back in front of me. I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if it works. It'll be crazy if it works. Okay, so which slide? Wait, where are we at? What? Oh. <laughs> Page 629. Okay, we weren't listening. <laughs> We were talking about allergies. I forgot who the lady is. I can speak it as this is it. Well, you could, but it's really hard to change from multiplication to addition. The reason why we're going to do tangent to cotangent is because those two are added. Okay. So we are going to work on the left hand side. It does, every time it's been the left hand side, but it won't always be. So we have. Change it to sine over cosine plus cosine over sine. What the heck is that? Because <laughs> you know, when you have that yawn, you get that. No, you no. don't. You've never you had that? Don't. You guys don't yawn big enough. You just crouch. Yeah, one of those outstretched like just, active bar on the shoulder. Just oh, is that what happened? Oh. oh, I thought it was a yawn that like catches, you know, and you're like, like they that. Can do that. Okay, you don't do that. What? Yawns don't do that. Some do. Some do. You never yawn. Yeah. If you're yawning that hard, you can go back to bed. True. So, <laughs> go back to bed. So now we butterfly. Sorry. And it used to be called but, uh, bow tie. So I have a hard time. This is going to be an interesting video. Right. Right. I don't even think it picks up y'all's voice very well. It picked up mine kind of because I'm right here. So yeah, she's going to be like, Miss King has lost her mind. <coughs> what's his face? Mr. No, what's his, what's his name? McMaster. Uh -huh. He used to do this all the time, but I remember we had to watch him because he wouldn't listen to us. Yes, he was just talking to his headphones. Yeah. So you have to watch him. And then um, if you didn't understand it and you were rewatching it, you kind of got lost because you could just hear us talking in the background. Oh, you could hear? Did yeah. he do it like this? No. No. Oh, how do you do? Oh, he has that special. Yeah. He had that actual mic. And then there was one day I really needed him to record, and he didn't pick his mic. Yeah. So I was like, great. And then I was like, well, I don't know what to do. He's like, well, you should have been here. I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, well. 
Sine, <laughs> sine squared plus cosine squared is one. Notice we're trying to get to secant and cosecant. So we can split this up. Which is secant times cosecant. today the rest of today there's just not much tomorrow are also going to be homework days so and then Tuesday when you come back we'll review and we have a test in here on Wednesday Miss King Miss King oh yes ma'am I'm just checking my phone sis and I have a new intercom okay thank you thank you what is that that's the new intercom no, they would test those in the gymnast train. Yeah, the gym one. The gym Yeah, that's the old one. The gym now has a bell. I feel like I don't know. And then it, every time there's like a tornado warning, it goes. Oh. There's a tornado issue in our area. And oh. then there's an intruder. It says there's an intruder in our building. Stay put. Stay put. <laughs> and then there's one and it oh, always wow. says earthquake warning. No. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please I don't know. But I'm like, why is it? Mr. Finn, come to the office, please. Mr. Finn. She said that she's in a UFO. 